host of CBS's Amazing Race is doing something amazing himself. His new movie hits theaters nationwide for one day this Thursday. That's right. The film is Le Ride, a testament to four underdogs who made history in the Tour de France. And it was a physical test for Phil Kogan, who tells me this experience was his toughest project ever. It's not a cycling film as much as it's about the human spirit. It wasn't enough to tell the story of the 1928 Tour de France and the first English-speaking team in the race. Phil Kogan wanted to live it. But I felt that in order to make the ride authentic, we had to ride, A, on the same bikes that they rode on, and then go on the same roads, the same course, through the same towns, try to stick to the exact schedule, uh, as much as we possibly could. It took three years just to find the bikes, twice as heavy as what we ride now, with no gears and marginal brakes. Phil and his friend Ben Cornell rode an average of 115 miles a day. I can't even imagine how hard this was. I mean, were there moments where you thought, I, I don't know if I can finish this? The moments where we got to that place, I think, were where we were hallucinating. Um, we, we, we did have some, we had one day that took us 23 and a half hours. Climbing 20,000 feet in one day. At least now, the roads are paved, but the beautiful terrain is still torturous, and yet... We were not going to quit no matter what we were going to finish. When they did, 26 days and more than 3,000 exhausting miles later, Kogan had even greater respect for the underdogs who inspired them and his own amazing race. I believe we're all capable of so much more than we think we are. I want people to come away from this film and feel inspired about what's possible for them. It doesn't have to be retracing the 1928 Tour de France, but I believe that we should all be testing ourselves more often and pushing ourselves more often. I get exhausted just watching the trailer. Mm -hmm. This film also keeps a story alive that few people had heard. That English-speaking team of four went up against 10-man teams in the 1928 tour. 164 people entered that year and 41 riders finished. To see the ride this Thursday, go to us.demand.film. One night only. Anyone who's ever ridden a bike knows that in order to do a hill like that, you need to have gears. Right. So for them to do that for 100 miles a day is incredible. All legs. And 200 miles plus a day, seven days. I like his message. Yeah.